back to my channel. I'm Roseanne. For those of you that are new, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Today, I'm going to talk about 10 things that you don't want to do in a hotel room. And I'm sure you could imagine all sorts of stories, but we're just going to be basic. We're not going to go into the weeds about, you know, you things. But I want to just share some really easy things that you can do to make sure that you're safe in the hotel room and that, um, you know, everything goes really great for you. So the first thing is really don't sleep on the bedspread. Uh, don't sleep on it or don't sleep under it. But a lot of hotels now are switching from using a bedspread to using a sheet that's covering a duvet. And of course, if they change the sheets with every visit, which they do, um, a lot of hotels do, and you can make sure of that, then of course, it's okay to lay on top of the bed. But if it's a bedspread that is used over and over again, I chances are they're not washing that. So I would stay off of that. The second thing is to make sure you don't put your suitcase on top of your bedspread, whether that's at your home or whether you're in a hotel room, keep your luggage off of your bed because there's a lot of germs on that suitcase as you're lugging that suitcase through airports, through streets, through God knows what. So use the luggage rack. Also, a tip is to have a luggage rack at home for your guests. Um, I remember going to my friend's house and staying with her because she lived out of town and she had a luggage rack for her guests. And that was so such a great idea. So, of course, I bought them for my house and I never really realized the significance of that. So having a luggage rack for your guests is a great idea, but you also want to make sure that you use the luggage rack or keep that luggage off of your bed. The third thing is don't sleep on the decorative pillows. Those are super hard to clean. So if you have decorative pillows on your bed, just take them off and uh, just don't lay on them or put your head on them because you don't know how long they've gone in between cleaning. So that's something easy that you can do. No reason to sleep on the decorative pillow. Just get that off the bed. There's always talk about the remote control. Don't touch it. Lots of germs are on the remote control. When I was traveling a lot, like for work, I was traveling a lot. I carry little Clorox wipes with me and I would wipe down the remote control. I would wipe down the handle of the phone. I would, you know, just um, maybe the lamps. I would wipe those down. It just depends on how germaphobic you are. And, um, but anyway, the remote control can, can be, um, have a lot of germs on it. So it would be a good idea if you wanted to wipe it or just stay away from touching the remote control. But a lot of people like to watch TV. I personally hardly ever turn the TV on in my room in a hotel, but a lot of people do. So be aware of that remote control. Something that's a little bit, you know, common sense, but it could be, um, a nice reminder is don't leave your valuables around. Um, always put them in the safe. If you, if you brought valuables, if you have cash or if you have, you know, you leave your credit cards in the room or you have diamond earrings, just put them in your safe. Or if you don't have access to a safe for some reason, put them in a place that's really inconspicuous because if you're going to get a hotel thief, they know all the obvious places to look. I remember many years ago, one of my dear friends, we were all on vacation together and um, someone stole her diamond earrings out of the hotel room. So I'm always cognizant of that. You know, the best rule is when you travel, you don't really need to bring expensive, valuable jewelry. I mean, we will have cash and we'll have credit cards. Um, and so we can keep those nice and safe in the safe. But just be aware that um, you want to keep your valuables secure. Another important thing to remember is don't say your hotel room out loud, especially, of course, when you're on the property. Like, hey, Susie, I'm in room 102. Can you go get, you know, you don't want to do that because then people 
you never know. You can get targeted. They could see you and say, oh, I'm going to go. She's out of her room. I'm going to go into her room. And, um, you know, you just you just never know. So um, just keep your room quiet to yourself um, and uh, don't shout it across uh, a room full of people because you never know. You just want to make sure that you're aware and that you're cognizant that someone could be listening to your room number. And if someone knocks on your door in your hotel room and you're not expecting someone, make sure that you look through the peephole and you, you don't open the door without completely identifying that person. Um, it's, you just, you know, you never know. Someone can knock on the door and try to, to get into your room. I mean, that has never happened to me, but it's something that you need to consider. If someone's going to knock on your door and you're not expecting them, don't open the door. Try to see if you can verify who it is and why they're there. And then, you know, use your discretion and your intuition to decide whether or not to open the door. But don't just randomly open the door if someone knocks on it. And something to remember is stay away from the mini bar unless you're willing to pay an exorbitant amount of money for the food. You need to make sure that you know how much you are paying for that water bottle or for the soda or the candy bar. It's much better if you can plan ahead and go to the store or a 7-Eleven or something to grab some snacks or go to a CVS. I love doing that when I'm going to some place and I know I'm going to be there for a couple of days. I'll just go to the local store because it's usually in the close vicinity and I'll bring water bottles there because I really don't like drinking the tap water. You just never know. And um, of course, now I have this really great water bottle that can filter the water as you drink it through the straw, the Brita one that I had. Um, and you can watch that video of my new little travel hacks up here. But um, I try not to drink the tap water. And I try to make sure that I have bottled water. And you want to find the cheaper versions of that if you just go to the CVS, the local CVS, and grab what you can do. And speaking of water and drinking, I would stay away from the glassware in the hotel. So when they clean it, I'm not sure they use soap and warm water. They might just rinse it out or use a cleaner. So when I traveled a lot, like, you know, every week for work, I always had this little um vial and it had soap in it so it was soap that I could wash my clothes in soap that I could wash um the glasses with so I would do um, a quick wash if I were going to use that glass I would wash it before I used it <laughs> so that's kind of you know be aware of those types of things and another caveat is there's a lot of talk about how dirty everything is and don't touch this and don't touch that. And I, I choose to just be careful and not to have it paralyze me. But if you're really concerned, you bring those little wipes, wipe down the counters in the bathroom, wipe down the toilet seat if you feel like it, wipe down the bathtub if you want to take a bath. So all those types of things can make your trip really nice. Like I won't take a bath unless I wash it first. And, um, and you know, those are just little tips of things not to do in a hotel room. Just make sure when you go in, you can see that the hotel is clean. Um, I like staying personally. I stay at Marriott's whenever I can. I feel that they do a good job, but you know, you still have to take care of yourself. So I hope these tips have been helpful. Just something to bring up your awareness and so that you're always traveling safe so that you can have the most wonderful time, enjoy the area that you're with, drink fresh, clean water, keep hydrated, and go on your way. I hope these tips have been helpful. Enjoy your day. Ciao for now. Bye. <music>